as you can see, all these boats are tied up right now. You know, they closed the fishing ground due to the oil coming in. None of these boats are working. You know, don't have much left with the fresh water coming, now the oil's coming. It's a dual thing. It's going to destroy probably everything out there. With the water, fresh water doesn't kill, the oil will kill it all. And then that's it. Game over. There's a lot of dead oysters right here in this spot, last time I was out here. One live crab. That's recent. Everything's dying. Little ones, everything. That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. It's all within two weeks. See, when they die, they break apart. This doesn't stay long. This does not stay. It goes like this, like this stuff. You see all this stuff? Dead. After so many days, this is her fresh kill. It's all dead. It's disgusting. This is, this is uh, I mean, it takes an oyster from... This oyster is about three months old. For it to get from this size to, to, uh, to this size, this is about a three-year-old oyster. Three years of damage you're looking at there. It takes a growth from that to that. 95% casualties. There's no oysters out here. There is this period. I can't. What I, was, what I did is gone. It's in the water. It's shot. It's dying now. It's going to keep dying. I've seen areas 10 years go without oysters coming back. I mean, this is not something that's going to be done and fixed overnight. People have to understand. This is going to take years to come back. And it's like, what do you do? I had a business. Now I don't have a business. My business was taken from me overnight. Well, I have to go look for a job now.